Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel. Back with another video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com. And today we're going to take a look at an alternative note-taking application for Android. And this one's called G Notes. And I also have Gmail on my home screen here to show you how this synchronizes. But this is from the same developer that developed G-Tasks. And it's also very similar in that you can take notes and it does synchronize to the cloud. But this synchronizes with Gmail, which is pretty cool. So we go ahead and open up G Notes, and you can see here, we can have a note here that we can share and go ahead and delete this note. And we'll start a new note here by clicking the top right hand corner. And this is a very similar text field you might have used in a note like Evernote, or an application that can take notes that's similar to this. I'll just write the word test. And uh, this is basically how you create a note field. You can also use speech to text. You can add attachments, take pictures, attach files, audio files, video files, all sorts of things like that. So this is a much more functional than G-Tasks as it does have uh, the same sort of functionality as Evernote, which is a note-taking app. You can also set a reminder, which is very similar to G-Tasks as well. Even set a time for it. It is 1.27 in the morning, but you can change things like that in terms of uh, when it reminds you about these notes, which is pretty cool. So once you've created this note, you can back out. And this is the note we've created that is now syncing, as you can see with that logo, to Gmail. So let me back out of this. Obviously, all the other uh, devices we have that have G Notes installed will be able to see all the rest of your G Notes. But when we go to Gmail, you can actually access this much easier in your browser by going to your inbox, and it creates a new folder and a new note. Uh, not a new note, but a new label in Gmail called Notes. And you can see we have one note here, and it's going to load our conversations as if it were an email sent to us but we have a note here called test. And this is the test we just created. So if we add any formatted text in here, some pictures, some files, etc., those would show up as attachments. So it's just like sending yourself an email with a reminder for things to do. Now this doesn't get marked as red, so it's very helpful that it's always there until you delete it in G Notes. So we go ahead in G Notes, we can go ahead and select that. If we deleted that, that would be removed from Gmail as well. And also when we hit menu here, you can see we can view a list view, which is helpful if you have a lot of items. And if you go into settings, there are a couple neat things you can change. You can change the image size, that maximum that you can share. So say you upload a massive image, you want to limit it to 50 kilobytes, you can do that. And we can turn off confirm deleting and uh, set what kind of reminders, uh, whether or not it vibrates and change the ringtone, etc. So that's pretty cool that you have all these options. It's very, very similar to Evernote, like I said. And if you're a heavy Google uh, services user, you'll probably find this uh, a little bit more appealing. Uh, than the other Google or the alternatives to the Google services. So that's pretty cool. Again, this is G Notes. This is available in the Android market. It is a free application, and you can check out the link at the Droid Dog article or the Droid Dog website. This has been MKBHD. Thanks for watching this quick video review, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.